Welcome back to First at Four. We are taking a live look outside once again over our studios off of Riverwatch Parkway, Interstate 20, and also Grove Town at I-20 near Exit 190. A mixture of clouds and sunshine out there for today, and that's been the trend across much of the area. It has been a really nice day outside. We also started off nice with a beautiful sunrise this morning. This is from John A. Roberts uh, in Augusta, Georgia. So thank you, John A., for submitting this this morning. A beautiful shot of some crepuscular rays uh, on the same side as the sun rose this morning, just kind of shining through those clouds out there. So really beautiful start to our day and also a beautiful finish. A little warm out there though. Some spots near those low 90s and also mid to upper 80s. So a mixed bag of temperatures out there. But overall, uh, most of us are below average for today and we'll see these temperatures continue to cool off even more heading through the rest of this week. As far as your grilling forecast and outdoor forecast for this evening, looking pretty good. We'll see those temperatures down to near 80 by 8 p.m. So if you have any plans on stepping outside to fire up the grill or just be outdoors in general, the forecast does look pretty good. Also going to be talking about that near full moon sticking around for the next few nights. So moonrise tonight at 9 p.m. You may want to get out there and check that out. It looked really nice last night. I know a lot of people were taking pictures and uh, just enjoying that really nice look at a bright full moon. And now it's that waning gibbous, but it'll still look full for the next few nights. As far as low temperatures, we'll see those in the mid to upper 60s by tomorrow morning. So a mild and below average start. And as far as your outdoor forecast for tomorrow, going to be another beautiful day. Rainfall chances 10% or less. And we're looking at mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies as we head throughout our day with those temperatures topping off around those mid 80s. As far as a look at temperature history uh, so far for this month, we have had uh, almost a full week of below average temperatures before we have had perfectly average days uh, Sunday and Monday. Getting into the next few days, though, we are going to add a few more blue boxes to that graphic with these temperatures staying below average across much of the central and eastern U.S. courtesy of a dip in our jet stream. You can see in Texas, though, they're going to see temperatures near 100 for the next few days as they're experiencing the ridge portion of the jet stream, but we stay in that more favorable area as we head through the end of the work week. We're looking at mornings dropping down to the low 60s as we head towards Friday morning. Could even see some mid and uh, upper 50s north of I-20 on Friday morning and then into the weekend. Those mornings still below average, but starting to modify or moderate back into the mid to upper 60s. But as far as the pattern for this week, we'll keep high pressure in place to our north, and that'll just keep funneling down some drier and cooler air out of the north and east, helping us to also keep keep that below average feel uh, for the forecast moving into the weekend. Rainfall chances looking pretty slim as well the next five days, so not tracking too much in the rain department. Outdoor activities should be in good shape for much of the week and even finishing off the month of August. Uh, the long term precipitation outlook does favor some below average coverage across our area, so still could be hard to find some raindrops finishing off this month, but we could see a little bit of a warmer finish to our month with that temperature outlook favoring above average temperatures pushing towards the end of August. But the seven Day forecast mostly dry temperatures below average for highs and lows so get out there and enjoy it. Miguel thanks secretary of